Okay. Good morning. Um, happy Thursday. It's our last math lesson of this week, week seven. So let's get started. Show me 10 the math way with your fingers. How are your fingers like number bonds for 10? These could be our parts, and when we put them together, it's the whole. We can use our fingers to show number partners for 10. So if I put two fingers down, we know that two is one of the number partners, and the other partner would be five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight and two. So you can use your fingers to show number partners of 10. So if I were to put down five, we know that five and five are number partners of 10. So when in doubt, use your fingers to help you out. So now look at these cubes. We're gonna pretend that today is a magical, beautiful day in the park. And we have 10 ants invading our picnic. Oh my gosh. Let's count how many cubes are here and put them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten cubes all together. Show that with your hands. Ten cubes. So what are we pretending the cubes are? Ants. Very good. So these are ants. This paper stands for our picnic blanket. It is not wise to play with real ants, so we're just going to use the cubes. So we have 10 cubes. All of them crawled onto our blanket and they're eating our food right now. But you know what? One ant, he's full. So he's gonna go away. He's done eating. What are our number partners right now? We have one over here and how many over here? Nine, very good. So we are going to create our number bond about what just happened. How many ants do we have total? What number are we working with to find the number partners of? 10. So our 10 is going to go where? Our parts or our whole? Our whole. So I'm going to put 10 right here. Now one of our parts is? one and how many are over here five six seven eight nine nine so nine and one are number partners of ten let's say nine and one make ten get ready nine and one make ten one and nine make ten say that one and nine make ten. Now let's show that on our hands. We should have our pinky finger on our right hand down. So we have nine fingers up and how many fingers down? One. Nine and one make ten. See? You have the power in your hand. Guess what? Another ounce got full and left. What are our number partners now? How many on this side? And how many on this side? 
8. 2 and 8 are number partners of 10. 2 and 8 make 10. 8 and 2 make 10. Very good. Now let's show it on our hands. We have eight fingers up and two fingers down. See? Again, it's showing that we can use our hands. If we don't have cubes or anything around. Guess what? Another ad's got full. What would our number partners be now? How many over here full ants do we have? Three. How many hungry ants do we have still on our blanket? Seven. Five, six, seven. Seven and three make ten. Get ready. Three and seven make ten. Great. Three and seven make ten. Now our next step is to show it on our hands. We have seven fingers up and two feet, I mean three fingers down. So seven and three are what? Number partners of 10. Very good. <gasps> Another ant got hungry and he left and joined his friends with the full ants over here. He is just so full. He's sitting there with his tummy full. How many, what are our number partners now? Four, and how many on this side? Six. Four and six make ten. Say that. Six and four make ten. Say that. Show it on your hands. We have six on this side and four on this side. And six and four are number partners of 10. Very good. So we have four and six. Another and got full. So what would our numbers be now? Five and five. Very good. Five and five make ten. Say that. Five and five make ten. Very good. Now let's show that on our hands. Five and five make ten. Another ant got full and he left. Oh, I need to move this a little down. So, we already did this number partner, huh? Six and four. So we already know about six and four. See, now we're, we're going over ones we already know. And this one is seven and three and if we take another one it becomes how many eight and two and if we take another one it becomes nine and one and if we take another one well what is it that's the tricky one huh how many do we have that are full ten and how many are on the blanket zero ten and zero make ten 
10 and 0 are number partners of 10. So today, your code word is 10. What's your code word? 10. Very good. And that's it for today's concept development. Okay, let's go over the problem set, our last problem set of the week. These squares represent cube sticks. Look at the linking cube sticks, draw a line from the cube stick to the number bond that matches. And if you'll notice, some of the number bonds are not complete. So you need to fill in those number bonds with their correct number partner in the part. Next, draw and color cube sticks to match the number bonds. So the first two are given to you. So you can choose whatever colors you want and create those cube sticks. 10 cube sticks, 10 cube stick, yes, 10 cube sticks. Now you're gonna create your own 10 cube stick and fill in the number bond. This is up to you to choose whatever is your favorite number partner of 10. But I want it to be different than five and five and four and six. So think of another one and fill it in there. And that's it for today's problem set. I hope you guys have a really good day and a really good weekend.